Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you one of nature's best health elixirs. It's called Vinegar of Four Thieves. Now I came across this recipe uh, about two years, just over two years ago when I graduated from uh, nutrition school. And I was pretty much exposed to apple cider vinegar, the health benefits of it, and I just became obsessed. The benefits of apple cider vinegar are essentially tenfold. They not only um, nourish the body inside and out for your personal care or hygiene um, regimen, but it's also great for cleaning the home. So uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating for you today the recipe of vinegar for thieves. It's very easy and it will only take you about five minutes. Now the wonderful thing about this vinegar of four thieves recipe specifically is that it can be used uh, for one as a daily preventative uh, for getting sick and also just kind of maintaining a healthy immune system and digestion. Uh, and as well can also be used to keep you from getting full blown sick with the flu, with a cold, especially during the seasonal transitions. At the same time, um, I also use it for consumption in my food as part of salad dressing, as part of my cooking. And I also use it topically on my body if I get a scrape or a cut um, as an antimicrobial, kind of like a disinfectant, um, antiviral, antibacterial, uh, topical, uh, topical cream, if say you will. So um, what does the vinegar of four thieves recipe include? Very simple. It's just four dried herbs, a bunch of chopped garlic, and apple cider vinegar. With a five minute prep time, you do then have to be patient for about six to eight weeks to allow all of the wonderful benefits of the herbs to be soaked up in the vinegar before you can actually consume it. So let's get right into it. So I'm just gonna start with talking about apple cider vinegar because it's important that you actually buy the right apple cider vinegar to reap the most health benefits from it. You know, apple cider vinegar you can find in your regular grocery store, also your health food store. But when you buy your apple cider vinegar, you wanna make sure that it's not pasteurized and it still contains what's called the mother. Now the mother is really a pretty much murky, cobweb looking thing that kind of floats at the bottom of the container of apple cider vinegar. And essentially what this is, is just a bunch of protein strands and enzymes that was developed as part of the fermentation process when apple cider vinegar was made. And that's what holds all of the wonderful benefits to apple cider vinegar. So if you buy apple cider vinegar that's been pasteurized, you're not actually reaping the health benefits um, as you would if you bought the unpasteurized apple cider vinegar with the mother. So what's so wonderful about apple cider vinegar? Well, the list goes on forever, but I'm just gonna name a few. Really, it boosts your immune system because it's extremely antimicrobial, uh, which means it kills bad bacteria and viruses. Um, apple cider vinegar is also really good for balancing your blood sugar. So for people who have diabetes or maybe insulin resistance um, or just really experience a lot of yo-yoing with their blood sugar throughout the day, um, taking a shot of apple cider vinegar uh, first thing in the morning or before a meal that's heavy with carbs will actually aid in the body's process of breaking down your carbohydrates and stabilizing your blood sugar. It also helps with weight management. It also helps with starting the cascade of digestion stimulating hydrochloric acid and enzymes to help break down the food um, before it starts to get into the small intestines. Um, and what else did I say? Boosting the immune system, boosting metabolism. It is great for um, balancing your blood sugar and it's also great for um, digestion. So that's just four health benefits, but the list goes on. So once again, just remembering to make sure that you're buying the right apple cider vinegar. So outside of the apple cider vinegar, we've got four dried herbs here. We've got thyme, rosemary, sage, and we have peppermint. And these four specific herbs 
um, have a lot of health benefits as well. Um, they're antiseptic, so they help kind of clear the whole respiratory tract um, and any congestion kind of in the nose and in the sinuses. They're antiviral, which means that they kill off bad viruses. They're antifungal, which means they also kill off fungus. And they're also antibacterial. So what we do here is essentially how this works is we pair about 32 ounces of apple cider vinegar with about two tablespoons of those four dried herbs. I've actually also added um, a little bit of lavender just to uh, give it a little bit of a kind of flowery taste. And in addition, we've got some chopped up garlic just to add to the immune boosting properties as well as antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral properties that this beautiful vinegar of Four Thieves that will give to your body. So how does this work? Pretty much get a 32 ounce um, jar. Now I've actually made this in small jars and I've also made this in big jars. I've actually have my leftover almost finished from the last batch that I've made. Uh, I make this about every six to eight weeks and just keep it going and constantly have it in my household. Uh, not only for myself, but I also give it to clients, families, and friends uh, for when they're not feeling well. Now, um, I will be demonstrating today just with kind of a smaller glass jar. So let's just say this is about 32 ounces. Essentially how this recipe works is you take your four dried herbs, two tablespoons of each for every 32 ounces of vinegar, and we place the dried herbs in the bottom of our glass jar. Once the dried herbs are placed in the bottom of the glass jar, remembering that I'm adding a little bit of lavender, we then chop up about six to eight cloves of garlic, okay? And just let it sit kind of open in room temperature for about five minutes. The longer you let it sit after it's been chopped, the more of um, the nutrient properties kind of come out of the garlic and will be able to be soaked up into the vinegar once we pour it in. So with your six to eight cloves of garlic, we chop it up fairly fine and we add the garlic also into the empty glass jar. From there, we take our apple cider vinegar, which I didn't realize I did not take off the plastic. So just give me a moment here. We open up our apple cider vinegar after giving it once, kind of a once over flip, just to make sure that all the wonderful properties are able to get into this glass jar. And then we just fill up the glass jar with apple cider vinegar. So once the jar is filled up with about 32 ounces of vinegar, we then close the jar, seal it completely tight. You can use a mason jar for this as well. As long as it's completely sealed with no air getting in, we then shake it up. You can see it here. All of the wonderful nutrients that are eventually going to be soaked up by the vinegar. And we pretty much just put it off to the side in a cold, dark place, dry, also make sure it's dry. Uh, and we leave it sitting there for about six to eight weeks before, uh, or then we take it out, strain it, and we have a wonderful vinegar. Very simple, as you can see, five minutes to actually put together. It just takes about six to eight weeks to sit, and then you can finally consume it. So after you are ready to get this going, and it's been sitting for six to eight weeks, you'll end up taking it over to the sink, straining it, discarding those um, herbs and the garlic, and then pouring the apple cider vinegar either right back into its container, or what I also do is I've been buying these kind of little um, kind of medicine looking jars, and then I'll just pour the remaining apple cider vinegar, vinegar of four thieves, into one of these. So as you can see here, um, this is like I said, from my previous batch, there's not much left anymore, um, but remember how we said you can see kind of that from the apple cider vinegar, the mother, there's all that murky 
um, mother stuff that's been infused with some of the herbs, which is why it's a little bit darker right now. But when you originally buy this, uh, you'll notice that the that the mother is um, should be about the same color of the vinegar. So since this batch is already finished, I left some um, in here for you to show you uh, how I pretty much get it into my little medicine looking jar. I pretty much take a strainer, or sorry, not a strainer, uh, one of these funnels. I'll place the funnel on top of the jar. Now I usually do this over the sink um, so that I can not make a mess, but let's see if I'm successful today. And I'll just pour the apple cider vinegar in the funnel right into my little glass jar. And once that's complete, I seal it up and I'm good to go. And um, like I said, I use this myself. I'll sometimes gift this to family, friends, uh, and even clients depending on the time of year. But what are the best ways to use this? So uh, if you go over to my website um, and check out the blog, Nature's Best Health Elixir Vinegar for Thieves, uh, the link is also in the description um, just below this video. You can actually get all of this information, including the recipe, plus its applications, um, so that you don't have to remember it just from watching this video. But pretty much what I've been doing with my vinegar for thieves is I take a tablespoon every single morning. So this will just kind of help wake me up. If you want to wake up without coffee, trust me, this is definitely the way to go. You'll feel it burn all the way down and it will definitely wake up all of um, the enzymes in your mouth and just give you a nice kick start in the morning. Uh, if you're not feeling well, I recommend taking about a tablespoon every four hours just to kind of kill anything that's brewing uh, inside your throat, in your esophagus, in your belly, in your respiratory tract. And you can also use it um, as salad dressing or in any of your cooking that requires um, apple cider vinegar. So as I mentioned, it is quite potent. Um, I actually really enjoy taking it on my own, but you can also dilute it in a couple ounces of water so it's not so pungent in your mouth. Um, when you when you take it on its own. So that said, thanks for watching today. And cheers.